Hello everyone. So yesterday I volunteered at a sectional competition in Waukesha, Wisconsin, and I noticed something. Um, I was timing at in one of the rooms, and multiple teams said they had a problem trying to park on a line, like for the robot to drive up and stop on the line. So what am I going to do today but teach you how to do it? Not only that, but I'm going to teach you how to do it in a really cool way, and you can explain it to the judges and blow their minds. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is make a variable, and this is going to be called kp. This is the value you use to adjust um, how fast your robot goes at when it's driving for tor toward the black line from the white line. Then we're going to want to make a target value black, as well as a target value white. And we're going to want to drag out all three of these variables right here. Target value black, target value white. Now target value black and target value white, you're going to need to find them on your robot, depending on what they are. Um, lighting conditions are going to change this. A, a bunch of factors are going to play in how high your robot's color sensor is off the mat, or even just the line you're trying to stop at. So my black value I found was 3% with the way that my robot was calibrated, and I found that the white value is something like typically like 20, 25. It's going to be different for your robot, trust me. Then we're going to want to go to movement and set movement speed to 20. Um, this is just for my robot. For your robot, you are going to want to play around with this value. This is going to be what this is going to be the value of how fast your robot typically goes. You're going to want to set your movement motors to whatever your team's robot's movement motors are. In my case, it's B and C. Uh, also, I just want to point this out now. I'm using EV3 Classroom. You can follow along in Spike Prime and it's exactly the same. Please don't click away because you feel like you've been cheated. Then we're going to, going to want to get a start moving straight at speed. And wait, why, why am I doing that? I can just put a start moving block. Well, yeah, just put a start moving block there. I realized an error in my code. We're going to want to grab a wait until block. And we're going to want it to wait until... Oh, we're going to want to get a greater than operators block. And we're going to want a target white... Uh, target value white there. And a sensors reflected light intensity block. What this does is it waits until the robot sees the white line. And then it executes the rest of the code. So we're going to need a repeat until block. And we're going to want to go back to the operators tab and grab another greater than block. We're going to want to go to variables, get a target value black. And actually, we can just duplicate it and get another reflected light intensity block. And this repeats until the target value, like in my case it's 3, or I should probably make it 5, is greater than what the robot's seeing, so it's on a black line. And what is it going to repeat? It's going to repeat moving straight at 50% speed. But we don't want it to be moving at 50% speed. This is where this code is better than your normal stop at a line code. We put in a times block and a reflected light intensity times kp. And now, of course, we need to set the KP value, because otherwise it'll just stop abruptly. And our KP value, I tried a couple different values. The one that I found to work best was 0 0.2, because otherwise it, it speeds up right around here. Let's just run through and see how this code actually works. So it starts by setting variables to KP, which is used to adjust how fast the robot approaches the black line. We've got target value black and target value white, which are your target values for those lines. And like I said, they'll change depending on your robot and the way it's set up. We set our movement speed, motors, and we actually start moving. Then we wait until the robot sees a white line. And the reason I did this is because every black line on the FLL mat is bordered by a white line on each side. So that way it won't be waiting to see the black line until it's seen the white line. Then the repeat until target value part, that's the real secret sauce, the, the magic happening. It, it repeats until the robot is on the black line. 
but it moves at what the light what the light sensor is seeing times the kp which is what you can adjust so as it gets closer to the black line the sensor is going to be seeing a darker and darker value so it's going to slow down as it approaches the line preventing you from going over the line this will really help your team's accuracy in the robot game this year especially for missions like the shared mission um, hologram performer where there's lines in front of them this will really help you stop right in front of it and be perfect now as you can see it slows down until it stops right on the line thanks for watching everyone hope this video helped your team out um, please consider liking and subscribing if this didn't work please email me at tellurium.robotics at gmail.com please subscribe